Golf. Chuck Long, Howard Griffith back here on the final drive. Minnesota and Purdue, a chance for the Boilermakers to remember their great former coach, Joe Tiller. Multiple things were done during the game to look back at the marvelous career he had there. In the first quarter, David Blau gets in trouble. He gets intercepted by Kunle Ayinde. And that would lead to Connor Rota throwing to Tyler Johnson, who spins into the end zone to give the Gophers a knee. To the second quarter, Gophers get the ball after a second David Blau interception. And that's a touchdown from Connor Rota to Brandon Lingen. So Minnesota's up by eight. The boat has been rowed. Third quarter, it's 14 to six. Elijah Sindelar is now in for the Boilers. Simple little pass there. DJ Knox weaves his way in and out for the touchdown. The Boilers are down by one. Now to the fourth quarter, Purdue takes the lead. It's 16 to 14, and then momentum stops for everybody because then, you know, like a horror movie breaks out in West Lafayette in the Very skies. 90-minute delay for the weather, and then they come back. It's a two-point lead for Purdue. Minnesota has the ball. Shannon Brooks with a 10-yard run, converting a big third down that would lead to a field goal to give them a one-point lead. Purdue has to drive with less than two minutes to go, and they do successfully. Markel Jones, remember him? That's your go-ahead score, but Minnesota's not done. There's still time on the clock. Shot still on the bottom of your screen. Under a minute to go. Oh, what a catch from still. 32 yards to keep the hopes alive. And on a fourth down, Minnesota needs more stuff like that. Just seconds remain on the day. 23 seconds when the play begins on a fourth and five. An interception for Jawan Bentley, and he takes it all the way back. Purdue wasn't even leading with two minutes to go, and they end up winning the game. 31 to 17 is your final score. Minnesota Gophers ran for 227 yards, but lost the game. They got four turnovers on the day, but lost the game. Why? Because Purdue won the fourth quarter 18 to three. Rob Blackman was there. All right, guys, thank you. Coach Brom, let's start with this. I can only assume in your coaching career you have never had a game where you turned it over four times in the first half, had to wait through a 90-minute weather delay in the second half, yet still found a way to win. What an outcome for your ball club here tonight. Well, it's not the way you draw it up, that's for sure. And, uh, yes, I I'm proud of our football team. You know what? Uh, the first half didn't go the way we wanted. Then our guys responded. And I think uh, that's the sign of a great team when, when you respond uh, to adversity. Uh, I thought our guys hung in there together. They played together. And I think it just goes to show that if you, if you believe in yourself and your teammates and you stick together, good things can happen. How important was your defense for your ball club today? Four first-half turnovers, but your defense kept hanging in there and at least kept it close. Yeah, our defense was fantastic. Uh, going into halftime, like it felt like we were down 50 to nothing almost, and it was only 14 to six. Like we were down one touchdown. What a testament to our defense to allow us to, you know, have the opportunity to to stay in the game and ultimately win in the end. And uh, I think we fought all the way to the end. And I've been saying that all year that I love this team. I love how we fight, and I think it paid off for us. Elijah, congratulations on the win, and uh, good luck next week at Thank Wisconsin. You. Thank you very much. All right, let's go back to Chicago.